Seymour Parrish, also known as Sai, is being photographed and processed at a police station. Detective James goes to the interrogation room and lets Sai know that they've processed the photos Sai took. Sai is a photographer and is more concerned with how his photography photos turned out. James asks Sai, what did Will Yorkin do to provoke him? Sai gazes in emptiness as he begins his narration of the events. Will and Nina Yorkin are photographing their son Jake on his birthday. Sai narrates how people photograph happy memories, but they never take photos of moments that they want to forget. Sai works at a store where he develops photos for customers. He knows Nina very well, so he rushes to help her out in a friendly manner. He comments on how beautiful Nina's camera is. He realizes there is one shot of photo left, so he tries to take a photo of Nina but she refuses. Then he takes a selfie. While the film rewinds, Sai wonders how Jake is doing. Nina tells him he just had a birthday, and Sai is quick to guess his age. Sai is kind enough to rush the photos for Nina, saying he'll have them ready in 45 minutes. While processing the film, he narrates how important photos are. During a home fire, people usually take their family photos with them. In today's digital age though, this is probably not the case. Sai finishes the photos just in time. He decides to spoil Jake with a free camera. And before they leave, Sai notices a book by Deepak Chopra in Nina's bag. When Sai leaves work, he notices his windshield had been broken, disappointing the already poor lonely man. Back at the Yorkin residence, they go through the birthday photos together. Will finds the photo of Sai and throws it on the table as eerie music starts to play. It turns out Sai had made copies of the photos for his own personal collection. The waitress wonders if it's photos of his family members. Sai says it's his nephew Jake. Later, Jake mentions Sai to his mom. He says he feels really bad for Sai because he seems very lonely and doesn't have any friends. Nina says they don't know if Sai is lonely or sad. They can only send Sai good thoughts because they can't do much about it. However, Jake is right. Sai goes home to an empty apartment with no family or friends. He does have a pet hamster. The camera then zooms to random family photos on Sia's dresser. Meanwhile, Will yells at Nina for spending his money so frivolously on a new car, a matching washer and dryer, and designer clothes. Nina claps back and tells Will that he's an emotionally neglectful father who is never there for them. Jake overhears this argument from the other room and it upsets him. While Sai watches an episode of The Simpsons, the camera pans to his wall of photos. They are all photos of the Yorkin family throughout the years including when Jake was just a little baby. His obsession with this family has surpassed creepy. Sai goes to work on Monday, which is their busiest day, since most people take photos during the weekend. A repairman is pissed he was called over to repair Sears machines because he thinks the machine is still in good condition. However, Sai loves giving his customers perfect photos and complains to the repairman to fix it. Sai gets reprimanded by his superior Billowens for yelling at the repairman. Sai apologizes for this mishap. Bill suggests Sai to use up some of his vacation time and to go back to work since his break was over half an hour ago. When Sai heads back to work, he bumps into Will Yorkin. He happily helps Will with a few questions he had. Then, Sai makes it a bit creepy by complimenting Will on his beautiful family and beautiful house. Jake then accidentally bumps into Sai. Jake tells Sai about this really cool toy that he wants, but his dad won't get it for him. Will yells at Jake to hurry up and leave. When Will walks away, he looks back at Sai suspiciously. After work, Sai decides to read the same book that Nina had bought the other day. He goes to a vendor just outside who is selling random photos of people. Sai decides to purchase one of a woman in a black dress. Later, he pokes in front of the Yorkin residence and stares at it before going in. Once he's inside, he looks at all the photos on the refrigerator. He's happily surprised to see his own photo there. He even decides to take a poo-poo in their toilet. He makes himself a little too comfortable by sitting on the couch and watching the game. Suddenly, the Yorkin family come home and find Sai there. Jake goes to Sai and calls him uncle. Unfortunately for Sai, this was just his imagination. He's still sitting outside looking at the house. One day, a woman named Maya decides to drop off some photos to be developed. Sai is very friendly towards her. During soccer practice, Jake plays while his coach yells at him to improve on his shots. Unbeknownst to Jake, Sai is on the bleachers cheering his name. Jake waves back hesitantly. Then after practice, Sai approaches him to ask if his mom is picking him up. The coach wonders if Jake is okay because some creepy stranger is talking to him. Jake reassures his coach that he's fine. 
Sai says he can talk to Jake's coach for him since his coach was a little mean today. Jake doesn't want that though. Afterwards, Sai walks Jake home. Jake vents that his father isn't around that much. Sai defends Will by saying he's probably just working hard so that the family can afford all the nice things. Then, Sai gifts Jake the toy he had wanted at the store. Jake refuses the toy though because he knows his parents wouldn't allow him to have it. Jake rushes to get home on his bike while Sai says bye. In the mall, Sai decides to sit next to Nina at the food court. Nina is currently having a private conversation on the phone so she awkwardly gets off. Sai starts being creepy by saying he's felt like Jake's uncle since he's known him since he was a little baby. Nina excuses herself to avoid any more awkward small talk. Sai decides to bring out his book, which Nina notices. They comment on how the author brings up coincidences a lot. So Nina decides to sit down longer. Nina realizes that Sai is very inquisitive and a deep thinker. She wonders about his personal life only to find out that Sai is alone. Sai decides to show a photo of his mother. But it's actually just a random photo of a woman he bought a few days ago. Sai says that she passed away already. Back at work. Sai is pouring out toxic contents into a bin. Then Bill asks Sai to see him after he's done. Unfortunately, Bill has found out that Sai has been printing out extra photos. Sai pretends he doesn't know anything about this. However, Bill isn't stupid so he fires Sai on the spot. Bill lists all the things Sai has been doing like taking 90-minute lunch breaks, giving free cameras to customers, and yelling at the repairman. Bill is letting Sai finish the work week, but Sai stands up furious about this entire thing. While working, Sai finds an empty photograph on the ground. Nina and Jake interrupt him by asking Sai to develop the photos that Jake took with his free camera. Sai isn't his normal friendly self today as he just gets straight to the point. Nina and Jake notice Sai's shift in mood. When Sai goes to process the film, he smashes the camera in frustration. Then, he looks over the photos that Jake took. He's happy to see all of the cute photos Jake took. But he's also sad he won't be experiencing this anymore. Later that night, Sai goes over the photos on his wall. He notices Maya in the Little League photo. So that night, he decides to look at the photos Maya had wanted developed. They are normal photos until he realizes that Will Yorkin is in a few of them, and a few of them confirms that Maya and Will are having an affair. Sai is devastated by this revelation as he sits in a red room. He decides to sabotage Will by placing some of these photos in Jake's photos. Sai then leaves early that day and lets Yoshi know that Bill had let him go. Yoshi thanks Sai for training him on everything. Sai walks away from the store, but before he leaves, he decides to steal a large knife from the fishing section. The next day, Sai sits in the parking lot waiting for Nina to pick up the photos. Nina picks them up and gives it to Jake. Sai follows them. Suddenly, Nina swerves the car and pulls over. Sai decides to pull the car behind them as well. Nina has discovered the photos of Will and Maya. Nina is devastated about the situation, and Jake doesn't seem too happy as well. However, at night, Sai watches the family through a window. He gets upset when they are happy because Nina hasn't confronted Will about the photos. Late that same night, Sai gets a dream of him standing in an empty aisle. His eyes are bloodshot red. Then suddenly he starts to gush blood out of them, without his job to keep him busy. Sai spends his days obsessing over the family. Bill is upset that Sai is using the store to develop his film. Bill motions the security guard to keep a close eye on Sai. Then, when Yoshi develops the photos, he goes to Bill to show the disturbing photos of a random girl playing with toys. Turns out the girl is Bill's daughter. Meanwhile, Sai has been following Maya and Will, who are arriving at a hotel to do the dirty. Bill has notified the police about what Sai has done. Detective James and Detective Paul reassure Bill that police are going into Sia's apartment as they speak. When the police enter the apartment, they notice his creepy wall of photos. But all the faces of Will have been mocked out. Sai finds out which room number Maya and Will are staying at by posing as room service. He decides to get a room on the same floor as Maya and Will. Subsequently, the detectives have told Nina what is going on. Nina calls Will's workplace, but of course he's not at work. She demands the assistant to get Will on the phone regardless of the circumstances, because she is already aware of Will's affair. Meanwhile, Sai goes to Maya's room. As soon as she goes to open the door, Sai pushes the door open, hitting Maya in the face. He brandishes the knife and motions Maya to get on the bed. Sai screams at Will for touching Maya. Then, the detectives are now aware of Will's location, so they start calling the room. No one picks up though, 
because Sai is too busy directing them to do inappropriate things while he takes snapshots. He even tells Maya to put Will's thing in her mouth so he can take a picture. However, he also gets upset when Maya actually does it. Sai didn't clarify that she was only supposed to pretend to do it. During all of this, Maya is crying and Will is very uncomfortable. Once he's done, Sai goes into his hotel room, then stares at the ceiling void of any emotion. The detectives arrive and they are told Sai is in room 519. Sai realizes the cops are here, so he's already gone by the time the detectives are in his room. They find the knife and camera in the room though. Sai escapes from the kitchen to the parking garage. Unfortunately for him, the police corner him. Detective Paul go into Yorkin's room to find Will distraught and Maya a bigger mess. Once Will is escorted home, Jake hugs his dad in relief. Nina isn't as welcoming, but she's relieved that her husband is alive. Back to the interrogation, Sai reveals that he was actually exploited as a child. His father had forced him to do things with him and even made him take photos of the disgusting act. Detective James realizes why Sai is the way he is. When the detective allows him to see the photos, they are just photos of random things in his hotel room, none of which are photos of Maya and Will doing inappropriate things. By the end of the movie, Sai imagines himself posing with the Yorkin family in front of their house. Somewhat of an open-ended ending. A few theories point out that Sai never actually took photos of Maya and Will. That occurrence just happened in Sia's imagination. Or it could be that he was just pretending to take photos of Maya and Will with the flash on. In hopes to scare the two from continuing their affair. It was a way for Sai to bring Will back into the Yorkin family whom he perceived to be the picture-perfect family. What are your thoughts? Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.